grace, otherwise works is no more work. What then Israel hath not obtained, the which is seeketh he seeketh for, but the elect has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You know those people today that's blind. Tim yeah. was teaching me to learn the Sunday school that people don't have no remorse about them more. They don't have no uh, feeling. You talk to them about God and their life at you. Mm -hmm. you just, I just don't want to go. You just leave me out at it. But you know what really bothers me is one day, Helen, when Jesus comes, they're going to wish they'd live. Yeah. Come on, amen. There's a day coming when people will wish that they had listened uh, to God. Now, he said here that he is reserved for himself 7,000 and never by the knee to bed. Amen. Amen. God's got people over the hill. You ain't the only that's sick right. chicken in the country. There's another rooster over the hill that's taking the flu too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, preacher, I didn't like your foot like that. Well, you take it anywhere you want to. There's either a chicken or a rooster or one because we're crowing about something all the time. Amen. 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 So what we need to do is say, Lord, I know you love me. I know you give your life for me. Lord, I'm going to fluffy live to you. It don't matter. I'm going to tell you what the truth. I told the guy the other day, he could have all the money. He could have Obama. He could have the world. He could have all the sworn papers that signed. But I'll take Jesus and ain't have the rest of it. Amen. 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 Jesus is the main reason for the season, amen. I ain't talking about when it's snowing, right. he's God. When it's raining, he's right. God. And you know people, Ruth, cusses God because the sun shines too much. Yeah. And they cuss God because it rains too much. Yeah. And God don't pay no attention because he said he rains on the just and the unjust. I'm going to let it out for the amen. Yeah. Amen. amen. So you just well put it in your mind if you're here tonight. And don't believe that God's going to do his thing whether you like it or not. Amen. Amen. He's God. Amen. Amen. Why, well, he's a wonderful praise God. He said, I say that God cast away his people. And, then, and if, uh, he said, God forbid. Uh, for I am an also an Israelite of the seed of Abraham and of the uh, tribe of Benjamin. I don't know which tribe I come out of and which city I belong to, but I know one thing. I belong to God, and I'm going to inherit a city. A city. A city whose builder and maker is God. Amen. Amen. You think about it now. And he said, but they have killed all the prophets. No, they ain't killed all the prophets. They've killed a lot of unbelievers. Right. Amen. People say, well, I don't believe God, I don't believe this, and I don't believe that. And I wish that we could find it. I'd like for this church to see that film. If the footman tell you what we do with, with horses. Now that will stir you up. I, uh, I know the preacher, now he might be dead now. Uh, preacher Esther Purple. Does anybody know him beside me? Fuck it is over here. Don't know. Is he still living? Uh, if you can find out from anybody where he's around, I want that film and get it from him and show this church. It, uh, it shows these big old Roman soldiers and it shows fire at the back door and how if you turn away from God, what's going to happen? This little girl comes up and had a picture of Jesus in her hand. That old Roman soldier looked at the little girl and said, throw it down and stomp it and reject it or I'll cut your head off. And she looked at that picture and said, Lord Jesus, one day you died for me. Now I'm going to die for you. They cut his head off and they rolled out the door. Well, preacher, I have some gross. No, it ain't gross. It might wake your grossness up. Amen. We, we just take it too much for gross. Miss Lucy, that's the movie we watched down there. Some people say it's too gross to watch. Well, you ought to tell you something. Tim's got it. I've got it. Everybody mostly has got it. How Jesus died and how he hung on the cross. But I'm going to tell you, that film does not touch the rim of what he did and went through. Amen. 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 He bled and died, thank God. And he said, I give my life that you can have life. And they beat him with all kinds of stripes and, and everything else. And uh, You know, a lot of churches don't want this. A uh, high peak Baptist church one time, a little uh, preacher over there from the mountain, and I went to hear him. 
And, and brother, he could preach, and he was, tore his white shirt, and he said, I was preaching over, and he said, they ripped his clothes off, and he said, I was back there to study today, so that's what you're paying me for, is to study and tell you about God. And he said, I looked at him, he said, by his stripes you're healed. He said, blessed be God, he's God, praise the Lord. He's come around that pulpit, a preaching swing his arm, had a hallelujah time and go, and I'm talking about the star in it. So much fire in it, they're running them off for next week. Well, preacher, you got Bible, Fred? I sure have. Yep. That bunch turned on deaf ear to the Word of God. Amen. They turned on deaf ear to the Word of God. They rejected the master of what he done for us. Amen. Amen. I'm proud of it. Yeah. I told the state patrolman here a while back, and you can say what you want to, they say they're shortage on state patrolmen. And I told the state patrolman that I'm proud of it. And we was praying for them because if it wasn't for them, we couldn't hardly get out on the road. Amen. Amen. They do their job. Amen. And, brother, we ought to lift them up to God. Amen. That's a lot of them say, and I don't know where all of them is or not, but that's our duty to pray that God will save them if they're not saved. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says now, uh, God's not given them the spirit of uh, slumber, even that they should not see and earn, what is that word? Ears. And ears that they cannot hear. Amen. Now you think I'm, you think I'm joking. I can't read no how, but see how I marked it up. Mm -hmm. And I've shed a few tears on it and just about faded out. Bless but you know what? It's still there. Amen. Amen. And, and he said now, uh, and, they, uh, and, and David said, let their table be made a snare and trap, and a stumbling block and a response unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and bow down their back always. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather though they fall, Third, well, salvation is coming to the Gentiles for to prove them to jealousy. You know, people jealous. Amen. Amen. Well, hey, people jealous. Hey, hey, preachers, it says they're preachers, and if they don't do it all, they're jealous. That's right. Amen. 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 I'm glad, thank God, of one thing. I ain't got a jealous bone in my body when it comes to preaching, but I want him to be what he's supposed to be, that's right. preach what he's supposed to preach, and live what he preaches. That's right. Amen. Amen. And that's what it's all about. And you say, preacher, do you live what you preach? Well, I, I believe I do. Bless Amen. I've, uh, Amen. I've not seen, I told a man the other day that I've never in my day, as long as I've been living, seen a man I've scared of, but I know a God I'm afraid of. Amen. Man, this man might destroy the body, but the Bible says to fear God, who would destroy both soul and body in hell. I told the person the other day, I said, you're just determined to go to hell, ain't you? Lying every day. And the Bible said all liars shall inherit the kingdom of hell. That's right. Not the kingdom of heaven, but the kingdom of hell. You know, hell is like a kingdom. Ain't going to be a lot of people brother up there. But there's one thing about it. I ain't going to be there. Amen. 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 Preacher, I ain't know yet because I've been born again. Amen. Amen. I've been washed in the blood. You know what? I started, Rita come up here a while ago, and I started humming an old song. And I don't know where you like it or not, but Satan tried to tell me that I thought I got saved. He tells me what a fool I've been. But when my mind goes back to that old place where I prayed, I know that I've been born again, born again, free from sin. I'm happy night and day. There's no doubt. Arnold, I'm going to shout it. I know I'm born again. Amen. Do you know you've been born again? Amen. 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 I'm talking about born again means you were born in the flesh. And after you got the knowledge of the truth of God Almighty, you become born again in the spirit if you're right. born again. And brother, when you're born in the spirit, the flesh don't have more to do with you and the ways that you used to do. Amen. Amen. 
Well, just like up in Marion, Friday night, I was talking to this guy, and he said, I've heard your name before. I said, yeah, I knew your daddy. He said, up at Lake James back years ago. And, and he looked at me, and he said, you know what? He said, they told me there's a young boy from Dysonville to always come up here in Marion and uh, fight his car and have to run the chief of police all the time. I said, don't go there. Amen. That's gone, brother. Amen. I'm saved and a preacher now. That was the old house. Amen. <laughs> but I said, where your stores are set where they blocked me in one night, and my daddy brought a razor strap to Marion and tore my hide up. <laughs> Amen. Well, I had a daddy. You better let the law call you tell you he was up at the sheriff's department uh, running down through town that you wish you hadn't seen them. <laughs> Amen. You know what's the matter? They said the other day they had a few schools now that had been used in the panel. They couldn't use it no more. Why, they need more panels. They need some holes in them. Yeah, yeah that's what you fooled me with. <laughs> Amen, Miss Lucy. Boy, I'm telling you what's the truth. Uh, uh, Brother Young and Glenn Appen know how to use that thing. A lot of people don't believe it, but he had an electric paddle in there. He plugged it in the wall. And, but I, 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 boy, he's tearing you up. <laughs> Amen. That's what I'm talking about. God ain't cast us away. God's blessed us. Look where he's brought me from. Amen. Why well, I used to, what clothes I had when I was a boy, uh, Mama had to keep them packed. We didn't have the money. And Mama would take flyer sacks and make a shirt out of it. Anybody ever had any done? Amen. And a lot of people say, well, I wouldn't have worn Yes, you would. And I wasn't ashamed of being a poor country boy. I washed dishes in the lunchroom for my dinner. Well, Amen. Brother, I tell you, we got too much pride. Mm -hmm. Amen. It ain't God cast us away. We cast Him away. Amen. 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 We pushed Him aside. We let His power go out the door. When I got saved, I told my wife yesterday, I wish a lot of people would get saved today like they did and I did last. Brother, the power of God's in the church. You're scared to go out the door. And people that stand there and shake, people come in, choose the chewing gum, blow bubbles, and act like you got the whole world in their hand. And you don't know what it is to feel the power of God. If God gets in you and God blesses you, He ain't casting you away. He's drawing you in if you'll let Amen. Woo! Glory to God. He's still God. Amen. Amen. I like old time, heartfelt salvation, the kind that'll make you love your neighbor. Amen. Amen. Love your neighbor as you said. The Bible said not if the fall of them of the riches of the world and the dis thank you of them the riches and the, the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. Well, if you can't really pronounce the word an old man told me one time, just say, preacher, say, we'll bar and go on. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Come on, how many of us is, I know what a wheel bar is? <laughs> Amen? And uh, over at Brown Hospital one time, this fella was in there and he was uh, pushing a wheel bar upside down around the place over and he was laying brick and all. Somebody told him, said, uh, well, you can't hold it in that wheel bar upside down. He said, that's why I'm pushing it upside down. <laughs> so these people today, Brother Arnold, still pushing that wheel bar upside down because they don't want to work. Amen. Amen. But I'm glad God's on my side. No, God ain't let, God ain't let those us out. God ain't disowned us. Brother Kenny, he's still the same God he was when he walked on earth. Right. He's the same God he was when in the beginning when he said, let there be light, and there was light. Right. Amen. He said, let there be sea, and there was sea. Let there be uh, uh, animals, let there be this. Did you know a lot of people don't believe it, Ruth, that when uh, he made the, uh, the man, that he had that man to search through the cattle and all of the, the animals of the field to find him a wife? You ever read that, folks? Yep. Amen. Let us through there see if he found one. He couldn't find her because he wasn't no monkey. Right. He wasn't no cow. Amen. A lot of people said, well, the animals, the animals, I'll tell you something about animals. God made them. Yeah. Amen. And Louise has got her hands full with a little old dog that belongs to Melinda. It ain't that long, but I'll tell you what's true. She starts to eat before she knows that she doesn't knock the sandwich out of her hand and eat it. <laughs> I said, now you started, now you have to put up with it, Amen. We need God like that. Yeah. So where he's always on us. That's right. Come on, amen. You say, preacher, he's on me enough. Well, I want to tell you something. If 
you ain't never had a whooping from God, would you come and get saved tonight? That's right. Bless Bless him. Him. Because without a whooping from him, he said you were bastards and not son of Amen. Amen. So no, he's going to whoop us. And I appreciate his whoopings. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. I'm glad he's on my side, aren't you? Amen. Yes, listen. I was uh, talking to a fellow over there, seeing him on Friday, and this fellow come in in a wheelchair, big old guy, I don't know who he was, and his wife. And, and uh, we was talking, and he told uh, what church you went to, and I told him if they ever had a chance to come and visit with us. Ain't a baby in y'all, but if you're ever over in that way, stop in and be with us. Amen. You know, it don't hurt a lot of people say, I can't go to a Methodist church because I, I can't worship there. Let me tell you something. If you're saved, you can worship in any denomination they are. That's right. Amen. If you want to obey God and do what God says instead of man. Amen. Amen. I went to uh, church up there in Morgan one time, and me and Odell Cockrell and the preacher got in the church so quiet. Odell picked one leg up to cross his legs to keep from making noise, and I took my fist. And knocked his leg off of the other leg. And I said, bless God, don't you go to God enough. <laughs> this one fellow back there looking at me. And I said, hey, how are you folks here tonight? Amen. Well, Brother Arnold, we ain't supposed to go in dead or because they're dead. We're supposed to go in alive. Amen. I stopped the spruce pine one night after a priest revival. Let the Googes Creek come out. Me and the deacons of Stone Mountain Church. And I walked in and I said, preacher just got up to preach. And it's quiet now. And I said, Hallelujah, I'm glad I'm saved. Frank Ellis, an old preacher friend of mine, passed there. I looked around and said, it's got to be that big mouth there in Michael's in Burke County. I said, amen, brother, I'm here. Let's have a time. Praise God. He went to one church of God and got to shouting and praising God and told this old man, he didn't want me to shout, he better leave. I was going to obey God. And, and the preacher told him, said, this is the church of God and I'm preaching in here and he's from Texas. And he said, that Baptist preacher back there has got more power than any you church of God that claims to be the perfect. <laughs> well, I wasn't going up there to eat it. I went up there to have me a good time. And you know the old man, 91-year-old, got saved that week? Amen. Because of me and not holding back. You know what? That's the reason I appreciate these ladies and hearing their kids. Don't let them run all over the church. Somebody the Spirit of God might be speaking to, and that kid run across in front of them and kill that Spirit, get their mind off of God. That's right. I appreciate you. Thank you for being so courteous in the house of God. Amen? Amen. So God ain't left us, Lance. Amen. I believe we've left Him. Amen. 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 I don't know about you, but uh, did you see how good Donald looked this morning? If you're okay to go back to work next week. Amen. Amen. Been out for what, six? Seven, eight weeks of the heart attack, the 47 year old. Amen. I said, God, don't take my baby. Amen. My wife come back and said, She's all doing good. Doctor said, I've never seen a heart attack that bad, and I've never seen a, uh, uh, that much happen at one time. And then all of a sudden, Miss Lucy is gone. I said, Our church is praying for her. Amen. 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 I appreciate the church can, get, can pray and brother doesn't get a hold of God. Amen. 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 Ain't that to be a Shame does. Uh, I've seen Jack Moses. <laughs> uh, and Doug goes on down. Mm -hmm. And his wife come in behind him and I said, Well, Jack, you look to be a hundred year old, man. What's the problem? Now, don't you start on me here and that and other. And I said, uh, How are you, Miss Moses? She said, I am doing good to have to live with that. <laughs> <laughs> Jack wanted to go on then. He didn't want to stay around. 